Welcome to SQL Reporting Service and in today we are going to look at you know how can we pass our parameters to SQL Reporting Service. I know I have covered this topic you know a lot of times with different techniques and different strategies right but this topic is a bit different I have never covered this topic you know. So uh, this is uh, this whole thing is ready I'm gonna make some modifications okay so if you don't know how to you know pass parameters to SQL Reporting Service you can always you know search for this topic you know reports part 15 you will this is the first video where I begin with how you know how to pass our parameters to SQL reporting service right so uh, next uh, what I'm doing over here is I'm displaying the employee information first name last name and city right and how do I find the result what I do is uh, it expects a parameter so I'm passing over here is London okay and I'm saying view report so it brings out the employees of London what if I say you know Redford Redford okay so it will bring out the employee of Redford so basically you can see is this is my SQL statement where you can see all, all the employees I have in the table employees and I'm filtering out them by the name of city and something similar I have done over here also okay but in here the tables and things were a bit different so the thing is I wanted to make this thing easy so that's why I've chosen this demo now uh, let's go back to the demo and let's look at the London again and I'm pretty sure that this is going to work but what if I let's say if I forget n and if I try to view so it's not gonna work and now why it's not gonna work let's find out in the data set in the data set you can see this is my query right and let me open that up so you can see you know on the city I have filter you know I have the parameter name as city alright so it is expecting an exact match um, so this is a city as a parameter so I need to specify a proper parameter like London or Redford or Seattle it has to be accurate right so what exactly we are looking at is we need a filter filter to use a statement like you know so that's why the request came in and and the user requested that I should do a demo within where clause I should you know explain how to use a like statement so and why uh, because when I say LON and I execute it should work so if I want to make that thing work so what are the things I need to change you have to make a change at only one place which is in the query and what you do is you write something like this like alright I'm sorry single quote percentage single quote close then plus then you move till the end then again plus uh, single quote percentage single quote close now in order to verify that we are doing right you need to execute this thing and if I say SE so I'm looking for the Seattle employees so you can see at the bottom I'm getting four records right I hope you can see it four records and nothing has changed everything remains as it is let's save it alright so let's preview it and let this guy go off and I'm gonna search LON so now previously it was not working now it is working why because instead of using uh, you know a proper you know value I'm using a like statement so I can apply you know my different filters you know to find uh, different things right now if I go and search only E then it will bring me Seattle and Redford as well so you see right what we have done is you know uh, in the data set I have made one tiny change and the changes over here I have used the like statement and this pattern is very important a lot of time it happens like you know a lot of people know how to use the parameter but they don't know how to use like so this is the way you can use like and you can do your plus minus right as per your need remove the percentage if you don't want it at the front or back wherever you want right and this is the same video I would say I have presented in my first right where I believe in YouTube or uh, where I'm ex uh, you know entering a product name and based on which I'm getting the record but if I remove I from the 
you know end it is not going to work because uh, where is it okay yeah so you can see over here right it's hard I mean it's it's expecting a proper value it has to be either Chai or Chang as a product right so instead of that what we have done is we have used the like and this is the way you use like it's very important this pattern right so once you know this then things become very easy for you right so let's summarize what we have done uh, what we have done is we have created a report okay then we have created a data set and we set up the connection uh, uh, I explain uh, you know if you want to understand this these steps you know alright so you can go back to this video alright and this video explains everything step by step so things will be easy next what we have done is uh, we prepared the query and we set up the filter like okay and it did work so guys uh, I hope you understand the concept how to use a like a statement and different set of filters over here right uh, so if this video helps you anyway then you owe me a like for this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching good night and take care